This is Murad Özver again. Here you're going to find a video clip uh, about the experimentation of, and contemplation uh, uh, as well as uh, research about the relationships between the thumb release and the aerodynamics. Uh, there are some debate on the archery forums for uh, some time uh, how the thumb release affects the aerodynamics and especially for the archers on field they are actually wondering what kind of spine spectrum is applicable to thumb release. And uh, I have been lucky enough actually to have met some academics from the sports department of Halic University and we completed also a biomechanical assessment of thumb release. Uh, by um, modeling the thumb release by using the infrared speed cams. So it has been also uh, presented in a military history uh, workshop as well as in a congress of sports sciences. Uh, but uh, beforehand, in the last winter, I have experimented with uh, the release, uh, especially with the movement of the bow hand during release and how uh, it influences the uh, arrow flight and arrow dynamics, especially the inner ballistics of the arrow, which is the, uh, the characteristics of the uh, shafts flexing uh, during the uh, release. Technically, it's possible to shoot arrows with no flexing at longer distances. Uh, for example, the Olympic recurve shooters shoot at 18 meters to tune their equipment. But remember that they have center shot uh, balls and the arrows are uh, spine matched and uh, they have some other, uh, some other aid like clickers and stabilizers, etc. But when you're using a traditional ball, uh, it's all your skill uh, and how you perform the technique actually. Here I'm using a 50 pound Turkish ball replica with uh, 2018 aluminum shafts and the distance is 18 meters there's uh, nothing to help actually uh, for, for the straight flying of the arrows this is all uh, about the thumb release and the hatra or the movement of the bow hand during the release hatra is an arabic word and adopted by turks as well and uh, as far as we could get from the old treatises and from the uh, the, the current uh, traditions that are similar to that of the Turkish tradition, we know that there are two main uh, types of hatra which I'm going to demonstrate. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to shoot uh, at 18 meters with uh, bare shafts. Okay, I don't know whether the camera could, could catch uh, the flights of the arrow, but we're going to see what kind of grouping we have with the arrows from 18 meters. As you see, these three arrows have a very uh, consistent grouping here on the left side. Uh, as told, uh, the thumb release requires a little bit higher spine. But as you see, the deviation is quite low, approximately 15 centimeters or so, and the grouping is, shows that the flight uh, was quite consistent. It's a common belief that thumb release requires a little bit uh, higher spine, stiffer shafts, but how how stiff or how stiffer or uh, why, what kind of uh, spectrum, spine spectrum is applicable to thumb release. For example, I have a 38 pounder in my hand, which is 41 pound at my jaw. And I have uh, two different spine, uh, spine shafts here. One of them is a 0.500 deflection carbon arrow and the other one is a 500, a 0.500 deflection. I'm going to shoot both of them from 100 80 centimeters, which is uh, the distance uh, for the compound valve balls to tune uh, the, the, the arrow flight. So it's quite a short distance, and uh, the thumb release technically is similar to that of a mechanical release aid. So we're going to see uh, how it works from such a short distance. Now I'm going to shoot uh, the 500 spine shaft first.
As you see, the flight is uh, perfectly straight. And now I'm going to shoot the 500 deflection shaft, which is a little bit on the spine. As you see that the underspine shaft uh, had another type of tear, which shows the, the uh, lower spine at this equipment, which means that uh, the 400, uh, 500 uh, deflection is a little bit underspined for the 41 pound ball from that distance. There are two types of hatra as described in all three types. One of them is a forward tilt of the ball during the release, and the other one is a an outward jump of the ball. Okay, I'm going to show you how Hatra or the movement of the ball hand um, makes the difference in arrow flight. Here I have the four, uh, 500, 500 deflection shafts again and I'm going to shoot them with uh, two different Hatras and you, you're going to see how the arrow flight uh, changes dramatically. First the forward roll of the ball. Now I'm going to shoot the same uh, spine of the shaft, another 500 inch deflection shaft, with the other hot rod. You see, the same distance, same ball, same arrow, uh, same draw length, everything is identical, but the arrow flight is completely different. So it shows uh, that the movement of the left hand, or hatra as it's called in uh, Arabic and Turkish uh, archery literature, is uh, of utmost importance. And uh, now, this is the 500 deflection shaft. Now I'm going to try to perform a better hatra. So we're going to see whether it's technically possible to play with the dynamic spine of the shaft uh, by just uh, changing the characteristics of uh, hatra. Can you come closer? That was the previous shot and shows a tear that proves that the, the, the arrow fly, the arrow was a little bit underspun. Now you see here a more or less perfect tear, the same shaft, but a more carefully uh, executed hatra here. Actually, it's a proof that hatra or the uh, movement of the bow hand uh, makes all the difference in arrow flight together with the uh, release hand. Turkish traditional bows or the other bows uh, of tumbling culture, uh, they are not center cut. So uh, the arches paradox is necessary actually, but uh, the excessive arches paradox is something unwanted, especially if you want to save the energy which was stored on the bow and uh, transferred as a kinetic energy to the arrow. So if you are uh, if you save this energy, then the initial speed of the arrow, the initial velocity of the arrow is high, which uh, actually we showed with the uh, chronograph measurements. Uh, the, we showed that uh, solid uh, thumbling increases the uh, initial velocity uh, as much as 6.4%. So uh, anyway, uh, although the bows are not center cut, the or original authentic Turkish uh, arrows are uh, barrels, uh, arrows. the shafts are barrels, so at full draw, uh, the point of the arrow is closer to the riser, which, is, uh, which, which acts actually like a center cut riser, uh, but uh, the main role is played by thumb release, not by, uh, the, uh, by the characteristics of the shaft.
Tudo.